Okay, Quran is 100 integrals number 53. So for this question here, um, we need to integrate 1 over sine x multiplied by cos x. Um, there are many ways you can do this question here, but one of the easiest methods here is you actually divide both top and bottom, all right, both numerator and denominator by um, cosine square x. All right, so let's see if what happens if we divide both top and bottom by cos square x. All right, so the first one, uh, that gives you 1 over cos square x over... Now, if you divide by cos square x on the denominator, you cancel one of the cos, all right, and that gives you sine x over cos x dx. Okay, so once you finish up to here, then um, all we need to do is simplify these um, trigonometry identities here. Use, so that 1 over cos square x becomes um, sect square x over tangent x. Okay, so now we've got a fraction. Um, it's so if you just check the derivatives of the denominator, right? The derivative of tangent x is just equals to sector square x. So therefore, we can just apply the reverse chain rule, and the answer just gives you um, ln absolute value tangent x plus c. Okay, so that's how we do um, this question here um, using one of the one of the I would say easier methods. Now, if I if you wanted to um, another way, because I'm pretty sure that you know when someone wants to see cos sine x, cos x, um, sine x, and cos x, maybe one of the first reactions you can think about it is the double angle formula here. Okay, so all of, you know obviously you require the two to be placed in the front. You can also place the two on the top as well. So if we use that message here, let's put a 2 on the top. We can have a 2 on the denominator, so that gives you 2 sine x and cos x. All right, so once we've finished that, we can actually move the 2 outside. That gives you 1 over sine 2x, which is a double angle formula for sine x function here. All right, and that gives you the reciprocal of sine 2x is equal to um, sect, cosect, oops, Cosect 2x and dx. All right, then um, after we finish up to here, then the next step we need to do is thinking about how do we integrate, you know, cosect x, okay? Don't worry about the 2x here, but how do we integrate, um, you know, cosect x? All right, so, um, so it's, it's actually quite easy. There is a formula you can apply, but if you want to show working out step by steps, uh, what you need to do is you need to multiply both top and bottom by cosec, cosec um, 2x plus cotangent 2x. Multiply this term on uh, both top and bottom. So imagine this is like a fraction. Multiply this, and then you're using the reverse channel. So the formula for, you can actually remember this as a part of the formula. So the formula to integrate cosec x dx is equal to minus ln absolute value cosec x plus cotangent x. Right, so that's the formula. Um, however, we do have um, you know, a 2 here in the inside, so we can use the reverse chain rule. The derivative of 2x is equal to 2, which I already have it. So therefore, the final answer of this question here will be just minus ln absolute value cosect um, 2x plus cotangent 2x plus c. Okay, so that will be the answer for this question. All right, thanks for watching.